Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Um, just got in a uh, nice new woofer here we're going to test out in the Boswell's Metro. Um, I'll let you go ahead and check out the letter real quick. This is uh, from Jacob from Sundown Audio. He sent us over one of the SA-15 Dual 2s. We're going to test it out in the Metro. Here's a spec sheet on it. Um, cost of this woofer is $235 matte pricing. That is from Sundown himself. Again, you know, this is from Jacob. Um, Here's the woofer we're looking at. It's a Sundown Audio D2. Um, it's a SA-15 Dual 2. Um, it's got a copper coil. Take a look at it on the inside. Let me turn the light on here for you. All right, there you go. Copper coil on the inside. So it's really meant for more playing lower frequencies. Uh, a lot of the uh, SPL guys are switching over using uh, aluminum voice coils, um, which is fine. I uh, just can't take long abuse on it like a copper coil can. But again, this isn't really meant for SPL. This is a, it's only rated at 600 watts. Um, to be honest with you, it's a pretty beefy sub for only 600 watts. Um, kind of curious to see how it's going to do. We're going to see how it does. Um, check out the leads. They're flat leads. Um, they go all the way across. Spider here. Flex is pretty good. Moves right with it. It's got it stitched into the spider pretty good there. So it's not going to be bouncing around. It's not going to be hitting the cone or anything else like that. Um, solder to the leads here. And then he's got push button terminals on it. Take up, looks like looks like I can get at least 10 gauge in there. Might be able to squeeze eight, we'll see. Um, looks like 10. Um, again though, overall, pretty uh, stoked about trying this sub out. You see the business end of it here. It's got plenty to it. Nice cooling vents in the back. And one thing I noticed back here, if you check it out, the way this is, it's actually conical. It's um, it's not flat like most most subs. They'll just you know drill a pretty big hole in the back and uh, go from there. It's actually got a pretty small hole. It's about a half inch diameter, but they've got it kind of tapered out here. It's pretty interesting. A lot of companies don't do that. Um, I'm pretty sure it probably helps with some sort of noise um, or velocity trying to get air out faster. Um, kind of using like an airport design is pretty, pretty smart. Um, they've badged it pretty much all the way around. You can see their name, Sundown Audio, right there. And they've got it on the boot as well. It's a protective boot that covers it up. You can take it off. Um, looks to be about a double stack magnet. And I could take this off, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, he's got it on there pretty tight. So all in all, like I said, we're going to test it out, see what it'll do. Um, but thanks to Jacob from Sundown and to Jimmy Greaves uh, for trying to get this woofer out here to us so we can test it out for him. Um, pay attention. We're going to have results up hopefully by the end of this afternoon, if not tomorrow. Uh, we're going to see what we can do out of it. Um, he wants me to build a box. Jacob wants me to build a box uh, for standard listening testing. I'm going to see if I can get to it today. I don't think I will, um, but we're going to see what we can do. Regardless, though, thanks to Jacob, thanks to Sundown Audio, and thanks to Jimmy for getting this out to us. We're going to test it out. We're going to give you guys some results, um, give you an idea. In the 600-watt subwoofer category, the best performance we've had so far in the Metro was a 156.6 out of a dual 4 um, so it was running at a you know a lot less power. This one's going to be pulling a little bit more juice, uh, but out of a um, Ascendant Audio Arsenal 15, rated at the same power handling, um, but a dual four instead of a dual two, and we got a 56.6 out of that one. So I'm pretty I'm kind of expecting a little bit higher number out of this one. We'll see how it goes. But again, thanks to Jacob, thanks to Sundown. See you guys soon.